Why is procrastination destructive to our lives? Procrastination is subtle, really subtle. The way it works is so subtle that it eats away ferocious amounts of time and we don't even realize it. How innocent it seems to let time slip by. We deceive ourselves into dealing with it the next minute, next hour, or the next day or month. Somehow, we always feel that it will somehow get done by itself. Yet, at the end of the day, there still isn't enough time to get things done. We know that life gives us its fair share. 24 hours a day to the rich, poor, famous, invalid, busy, or lazy person. Time is fair in the sense that we have the choice to do exactly whatever we want with our 24 hours. You get only 24 hours, not a second more or less. What makes procrastination so deadly is the fact that life is full of sob stories on how people had such a wonderful plan and a great idea that somehow never came to life or conceptualized in the real world. Imagine if Albert Einstein procrastinated and decided to write the theory of relativity much later while he played with his dog now, assuming that he had one. Or if Thomas Edison decided to invent the light bulb once he has got things out of the way. Perhaps today we will still be using candles. This is just a hypothetical example, but you get the idea how destructive procrastination is. Procrastination must be dealt with. Period. You have to be very clear in your mind what the destructive efforts of procrastination are and how you must deal with it now, not later. In the next audio, I'll talk about the general mindset on how to deal with procrastination. Dealing with procrastination, what we are up against. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.